Hello everyone, welcome to my part. I'm Yu Chitang from Nanyang Technological University. Our research is a gramming angular field transform based higher dimension data driven method for post fall short term voltage stability assessment. As the complexity of power systems increases, together with the increasing integration of PMUs and SCADA, intelligent assessments for short term voltage stabilities becomes necessary and feasible. Especially when a fault occurs, a fast and accurate conclusion is needed. First, please let me introduce the concept of post for short term voltage stability STVS. As a subtopic of power system stability, STVS means the capability of timely recovering the voltages of each bus to an acceptable level. Because of, of the increasing complexity of power systems, the occurrence of voltage collapse becomes more likely. Moreover, STVS becomes more difficult to maintain after a fault. As shown on the left, when a fault occurs, in some cases, the voltage could uh, return stable, while in others, it does not. Thus, the assessment method should distinguish these two situations to to allow corresponding emergency measures precisely intervene in time. STVS assessments can be described as a black box model, for which the input is real-time voltage with a certain data length, as the red shadowed area shown, and the output is a conclusion, stable or unstable. The traditional methods, which mainly include the time domain simulation and the lookup pattern, can be time consuming and over dependent on human operator. And these methods cannot cover a large variety of unstable conditions for nowadays power systems. Fortunately, the widely applied AI make intelligent system, IS, a promising option which allows the assessment module to carry out data-driven learning before deployment, so as to achieve fast and accurate online assessing. Here, before discussing the proposed method, Gramian Angular Field GAF transform needs to be mentioned, which transform the original voltage time series into 2D matrices. Specifically, the voltage samples are normalized first. Then, the R cosine function is performed to obtain angle values. In the proposed method, one of transmission options, GADF, based on difference value, is adopted to better capture the voltage change, as step 3 shows. Every two angles generate a different value with cosine function. Finally, after a color scale mapping, the GAF matrix can be represented in the form of a 2D image. The obtained 2D image would create favorable condition to adopt the subsequent AI tools, while in an 1D space, for example, 1D CNN, Without GAF transform, only the neighboring voltage samples can be analyzed together, as shown on the left. Voltage samples within T1 to T3 and T2 to T4 can be processed comprehensively. However, voltage samples that are not adjacent to this range will not be considered together. That is to say, the magnitude change is not fully concerned with the 1D scheme. For the proposed method, the composition of GAF transform and 2D CNN provide a more refined analysis. As shown on the right, where the GAF transform connects the voltage samples from different time slots. In this way, the hidden information about changing between T5 and T6 is extracted. The proposed higher dimension decision making scheme consists of GAF transform, 2D CNN, and 
the Adaptive Confidence Interval, ACI. First, the input voltage time series of each bus would be converted into 2D by the GAF transform. Then, the 2D CN with a convolution layer, a max pooling layer, a flattened layer, and a fully connected layer would analyze the obtained images and output a floating point value. Then, the ACI will further decide the assessing conclusion regarding the interval range that the value belongs to. This ACI part is designed to reduce false positive, FP, which refers to a wrongly drawn stable conclusion by setting a stricter classification criterion. The framework of the proposed method includes offline training and online assessing parts. The offline parts should be completed first to get a well-trained CNN. An important task is to construct the database for which varieties of faults would be simulated so that sufficient types of stable and unstable cases would be covered. Then with the recorded voltage data, which further compose a formatted feature label data set. The CN can be trained by data-driven machine learning. After that, the online part would be deployed. Once a fault is reported, the most recent voltage data would be delivered to the activated decision-making scheme, which would draw a conclusion. Then, the stability control measures can be adopted accordingly. The proposed method is tested and verified on New England 10 machine 39 bus system with the same data set in the reference paper mentioned below. As the table shows, with limited input data, the higher dimension scheme shows obvious advantages and the accuracy has been maintained with an over 99% level, although the 2D scheme brings larger training costs. The drawback is acceptable, since within this 100 second level timescale, a structural change of the targeted system can hardly happen. Also, ACI significantly reduces the FP rate. As the largest FP rate decrease achieves 60%, from 0.65% to 0.26%. The most inspiring thing is that the GAF transform provides an opportunity for STVS assessment to further adopt the existing well-developed image intelligence tools. As 2 dcn is tested to be workable and advantages in this research. Still, the proposed method needs to be improved with further research. First, more than 2 dcn other tools for image intelligence could be tested. Second, the parameters of GAF transform could be selected in an adaptive way. Most importantly, there should be a more systematic mechanism between various parameters in the proposed method and subsequent control measures. Also, the transmission distortion and the delay of the voltage data need to be considered. That's all my presentation. Thank you.